Brother, what's your name? My name's Fred. 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 All right, I'm Paziah. How you doing, bro? It's good to meet you, man. All right, you want to know who you are? I want to know who I am. Okay. I want you. See, you, you want to know who you are too? What's your name, sister? Tanjanil. Tanjanil. Tanjanil, Fred Tanjanil. I'm Officer Hosiah. Hey, I want y'all to look right here on this chart. Tell me, it, it's according to your father. You all with your father is because man carries the seed, right? Right. All right. So on the left side, on your left side, God called you these names, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, and on down. On the left side. And on the right side, this is what the so-called white man called you when he took you into slavery. You understand, bro? This is what the white man called. He called you black. But look at our pants and our boots. That's the color of black, right? We're dark-skinned people, right? So we're not black. Right. So what tribe did you come from? Judah, your dad is so-called black American, right? What about you, brother? I agree. Uh, okay, from the tribe of Judah. That's a mighty tribe, bro. That's, That's the head tribe of all the 12 tribes of Israel. And we're gonna show you who's from the tribe of Judah real quick. Let's get that Hebrew 7 and 14. We're gonna show you, bro. The, 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 one, the, man, the man that's talked about, that's known all over the globe, is from the mighty tribe of Judah. That's right. All right? Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident, without a shadow of a doubt, it's evident. Come on. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Our Lord is Christ. He sprang out of what? Out of Judah. The tribe of Judah, that's where Christ came from. He come from out of that tribe. Give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. We're going to show you what the tribe of Judah looked like. You are the Israelites. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right, right. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You are the descendants of these 12 tribes that's been scattered all over the globe. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah born it. This is the tribe of Judah. Judas is one, we can't see the And the gate there, I'm late. I'm a leadership like, like, uh, what's his name? Al Sharpton, T.D. Drake. All of them people that language, the minute they weak, they don't understand what the scriptures is telling us to do. Right. How to get out of our conditions. Drug dealing, drug smoking, getting high, getting drunk, lost. Right. We don't know who we are today. But we're teaching you right now. Come on. They are black. The tribe of Judah is what? They are black unto the ground. Unto the ground. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. So, what color is the ground? The dust of the ground is what? It's black. The deeper you go, darker it gets. You see that? That's the tribe of Judah. That's who y'all are. Israelites. Right. Come on. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the law for man of the dust of the ground. The Lord formed man from the dust of the ground. All right? So what color is the dust of the ground again? Brown. It's dark, black. People you go to black, you get. So Adam was the first man created from the dust of the ground. We're from the tribe of Judah. I'm from the tribe of Judah. And we're Israelites according to the Bible. Don't let nobody take that away. You're not black. You're Israel. That's right. right. Come on. And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. The breath of life is the commandments. All right? Now, let's get Revelations 1. Revelations 1 and 1. Because we're going to reveal how our Lord and Savior look. Come on. Revelations chapter 1, verse 1. First of all, let's look over here. Let's get over here. Let's look at these two images. This image right here, this is what we've been taught. We've been taught that this is Jesus Christ. Am I right about it? All right? But the scripture says otherwise, all right? Now, we're going to play a game called Three Strikes. We're going to compare this image to this image right here, according to the scriptures that's going to be read. All right? Come on. Revelations 1, verse 1. 
the revelation of Jesus Christ. That root word is reveal, of revelation, it means to reveal, all right? Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. So, John is looking, uh, is, is writing these things down in the, Re in the book of Revelations. John wrote Revelations. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Okay, let's just get to it, uh, uh, 14. Verse 14, and his head and his hairs were white like wool. Now John, turned around because he heard the voice behind him and he turned around and when he looked what he looked at his hair and his hair were white like wool who got woolly hair on this planet earth today black people right. but you got some hispanics that got woolly hair too as well and some native americans they have woolly hair as well so that means that, that means you know she has gray hair and that's what the scripture is explaining right he has gray hair but he said it's white and how white is it? as white as snow as white as snow so let's 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 take a look at these images which one so far fit the description of christ this man right here right Check it out. come on that's strike one. strike one and his his eyes were as a flame of fire and his eyes was as a flame of fire. Let's get that real quick. Genesis 49 and 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Let's, let's, look, let's take another look. Does he have fiery eyes? Who got fiery eyes? Does he have them? And this is the reason why. Come on. Genesis 49 verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. Read on. And his teeth white with milk. And his teeth white with milk. Meaning that he spoke the commandments. So uh, let's get real quick. Because it said his eyes will be red with wine, right? Let's get Matthew 11. Matthew 11, 19. Let's get that. Because this, this is why his eyes were red like wine. Come on. Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. And they say, behold, a gluttony, as you were. Behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine bibber. And a what? And a wine bibber. They tried to say, because Christ came eating and drinking, he was a wine bibber. But Christ drank wine in moderation. He never got drunk. You see, so it's just like this here. Like, you have an uncle or auntie, they get to drinking, and their eyes turn red, you know, a little bit. That's how Christ's eyes were. Right. Let's go back to Revelation. So, so far, between these two images, I'm looking at strike two. Strike two. What y'all looking at? Strike two? White woolly hair, white as snow, eyes red. This fit the description, not this devil right here. Come on. Revelation chapter one, verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Brother, what color is your feet? Brown, like brass. Brass, right? It's brown, right? Yeah. Come on. As if they burn in a furnace. Sister, if you ever burn rice, chicken, yes. barbecue, yes. you know, what color it turn when you burn? Black. You see that? Christ was a black man. That's right. right. Dark skinned black man, so called black. Right. If Christ was walking this road right now, you'd be like, man, look at that black dude right there. Damn, he black as hell. You see that? That's how Christ looked. You are the children of Israel. That's you right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why you need to look up, and that's strike three, by the way. Strike three, That's Europe. the damn devil the Bible speaks of right there. That is a man named Caesar Borgia. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, U, I, C, we deliver the truth.